Good evening, YouTube. It's Ro here. I hope you guys are having a great day. I know that I am. I was especially happy to come home and find some happy mail in my mailbox. We know what that means. And if you don't know, that means I got some seed, seeds in mail. Um, but real quick, if you've been here before, thank you so much for coming back. I truly appreciate you. If this is your first time here, I hope you'll consider subscribing at the end of this video. So, I already gave you the little uh, tidbit that this is a seed haul, not to mention <laughs> the title of the video gave it away. Um, so, <clears throat> this is my third year buying into the um, MI Gardener end of the year grab bags. So what that is, is they you they offer um, 30 packs of seeds for 20 bucks. Uh, caveat being, you can't choose the seeds, they choose them. And so sometimes you do get things that maybe you don't like, or maybe you'll get some, uh, some repeats, but that's the risk you take for having such a great price on the seeds. Anywho, I have been doing it for, this is, I believe, my third year now, and I just love the excitement of it. Um, if I come across some seeds that I don't use, you know, for things that I don't even eat, like eggplant or zucchini or squash, um, I don't eat those things. If I get seeds for those, I am happy to pass those on to my library or even some friends. I have been known to throw some seeds into the mail for somebody without their knowing and just calling it happy mail. So um, let's take a look at what I got this year. Oh man, I do love a good seed haul. I hope you guys do too. All right, so let's see what they gave me. 30 packs of seeds. I'm taking a look at this and it does not tell you what they are. I thought maybe I could look at the invoice and see the, what I got if there were any doubles, but nope, they don't have it itemized. So we gotta go through them one pack at a time. <laughs> um, <clears throat> my advice to you, if you're gonna do this next year, you say, you know, be on the lookout for the sale because the sooner that you get in, the better the chances that you don't get um, uh, repeats has been my experience, okay? And I got in on the first round. <laughs> the second I saw the notification from Luke, he's the, I guess, the host of the uh, YouTube channel uh, and my gardener. He's also the owner of the company, him and his wife and maybe some other people. I don't know, but... Um, I saw it on Facebook and I ran, not walked, and ordered mine because I know they go so fast. They go like this, but they do rounds of it. So, you know, if you miss the first round, there's the second one you can get in on. All right, anyway, let's look at some seeds, shall we? 30 packs to be exact. <laughs> All right, number one, Parisian carrot. I just bought these. <laughs> I love them though. I love them. Um, how many are in here? 300. Ooh, I don't need that many. Uh, red long of tropia onion, Mediterranean variety, specialty variety, fantastic flavor. This rare type of onion suited to 40 degrees and higher latitudes for pearl and copini onions for small to medium onions at lower latitudes. The elongated purple bulbs add color to any dish. Those are cute. Caraway seeds. I don't grow caraway, so I'll give it a try. I don't even use it. Um, Maybe I'll taste a couple. How many seeds are in here? 200? I'll taste a couple. I have no idea what caraway even tastes like. I'm sure I've had it. Do they use that in pickling? It looks like it would be used in pickling. It says it's popular and easy to grow herb. Uh, the flavor is a mixture between citrus and anise and has been used in candy making for generations. Popular spice to add to rye bread and other baked goods. An herb that's complementary to sweet or savory dishes. Mm. Black chia. Tell me why I didn't know that Chia was, 
I didn't know you could grow it from seeds. I don't know what I thought you could do with it. I mean, I know she has seeds. Anywho, 500 seeds. Native to Mexico and Guatemala. Wow. Loaded with omega-3 fat fatty acids and vitamins. It's a powerhouse in a seed. Add chia to pudding, drinks, or toast to add a contrast and a pop of color. I highly doubt I'll use this. I have, I, that doesn't sound interesting to me at all. <laughs> oh, the State Fair winter, winter pumpkin. This pumpkin is truly huge. <laughs> State Fair winter is a variety known to grow past 300 pounds with minimal effort known to reach a maximum 1,200 pounds on a regular basis with proper care, culling, and pumpkin growing know-how, AKA luck. Good luck and grow big. Oh my goodness. How fun is this? Three seeds, guys, three seeds. He's got a lot of faith in me. <laughs> this year was the first time I grew pumpkins and I grew the small mini harvest pumpkins. Nothing even close to something like this. But at least now I have property enough that I could probably squeeze one of these plants in somewhere. Harris model, Harris model parsnip. I have not had parsnips and I haven't grown them yet. But I imagine it's like growing a carrot or I grew the Hamburg rooted parsley uh this year, I think it was, yeah, in the spring this year. And I imagine that's probably much like that. Here I have the bronze mignonette head lettuce. It's pretty. I don't think I have those. Oh, here's our first repeat. It's that uh, red long of tropia onion. Fine with me, I love onions. Oh, fun. Uh, teddy bear sunflower. I've grown these every year since I got the seeds a couple years ago. So perfect. I grow, I go through the, um, I make sure to go through the pack each year and then I buy a new one because I like them so much. Um, I, I know what you're thinking. Why don't you just save the seeds from them? Well, I usually let the birds get them. So, and in fact, I have a sunflower out there right now that looks amazing. And I was saying to myself, yeah, you should just let it go. Because I was thinking, oh, let's cut it, bring it in the house, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, nah, it's the end of the season. Leave it out there. All right. Uh, first tomato, the gobstopper tomato. This is fun. Kind of looks like that evil olive tomato, doesn't it? I don't believe I have seeds for these, and I definitely know I never grew it. Aunt Ruby's German Green. Pretty sure I just recently got some seeds for this. I have been wanting them for years and never did. And then, you know, with me losing my big batch of seeds, um, I started buying up some things, and this was one of them, I'm pretty sure. Uh, so I might have some Aunt Ruby German Green tomato seeds to send out. Sweetie Tomato. I grew this tomato last Yes, last year, but I didn't start it. I bought the um, the plant start from my local, oh gosh, what is that called? Community garden. <laughs> uh, it did very well, and I'm happy to try and start those myself and uh, not have to buy the plant starts. Ford Hook Giant Swiss Shard. 25 to 50 days, that's it? Why did I think this was gonna take so much longer? Uh, anyways, it says this Swiss chard is packed with vitamins and minerals. It can be grown in hot climates as well as cold climates and handles all with ease. If you plant it, just get ready for neighbors to be fed as well. Production will increase with every harvest. The four hook variety specifically is one of the most prolific producers of Swiss chard. Cold tolerant. You can plant it in spring, summer, and fall. Full sun. Wowza. Looking forward to that. This year was the first year that I really grew a significant amount of shard. And I don't mind it. It's a little more earthy than I would I would want. But it still tastes good. And I, all I've been doing is mixing it with other things. So that it's not like the pro prominent flavor of whatever it is I'm eating. 
Moving on, the red pear. I haven't grown this one specifically, but I've grown the yellow pear. They are very prolific, if it's anything like the yellow. So that's fun, indeterminate. Uh, here we got the blue bachelor button. If I'm being honest, bachelor buttons are one of my least favorite flowers, but <laughs> I don't know. I guess I could grow them. Pollinator friendly, that's cool. Full sun, container friendly, 65 to 80 days. I don't know. We'll see. This will probably go on somebody's Christmas card. <laughs> Spicy Globe Basil. I have seeds for this already. I think like two packs. Uh, I love this stuff. I will be giving this pack away. Sweet Dumpling Squash. I don't eat squash. Uh, I don't know, but that's interesting looking. I don't know. We'll see what I do with that. I kind of feel like I just want to grow it for the sake of having a squash like that. <laughs> and then just giving it away. Um, but then I'm also thinking, you know, pumpkins and squashes and all that stuff. Don't they take up a lot of space? So maybe I won't. Uh, the gold ball. Oh, I'm sorry. Golden ball turnip. I haven't grown turnips in a year. But when I did grow them, I grew them for the turnip leaves because uh, I'm a turnip and mustard kind of gal. Uh, but uh, I think I did harvest a couple of the um, turnip roots, turnip bulbs, and they were just fine. China Rose Radish. I've got seeds for this, but it doesn't matter because up until now, I still can't grow a radish to save my life. So I keep every single radish seed I get. The Bikino, what is that? Bikino Yellow Piquillo Pepper. Ooh, that's a lot of eos. Eno eo. <laughs> hot, it's uh, not super hot, it says. Container friendly, full sun. Okay, I'm fine with that. We don't do super hot, but I can handle like Tabasco and jalapenos in moderation. <laughs> uh, white linen California poppies. I love poppies. I've tried growing them. I've never had any success, so I'm willing to try it again. Slow boat, bolt arugula, love arugula. Great to give that a try, especially being slow bolt. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what it's like anywhere else, but here in Ohio, spring is like one week. <laughs> or fine, two weeks. <laughs> we go from like the grounds to frost to blazing hot. <laughs> this year especially, it happened that way, it seemed like. And then now we're going cold uh, sooner than we did last year and the year before, if I'm recalling correctly. Um, our, my first predicted frost date is middle of October, and I'm pretty sure we had our first frost warning that first week of October. At this point now, I think it was today's day, October 20, 25th or 26th, and we are at probably our third frost, so... And moving on, I got a Snapdragon. This is the Orange Wonder Snapdragon. I used to be a uh, manager of a floral shop in a city called Lakewood. And it was a very hoity-toity popular place. And one of the things that sold really well, uh, besides Stargazer Lilies, was Snapdragons. So I've always had a little bit of an affinity for them. Rosita Eggplant. Ugh. I don't like eggplant. I've grown it twice now. These will definitely be a gift to somebody else. Red leaf amaranth. I grew this two years in a row, skipped last year. Uh, it's a great looking plant. I love the way it looks. Yeah, and it's just a leaf. It's not great. It's not bad. I'll probably hang on to those. Trucker's favorite yellow corn. Let's see, it says it's a staple field variety that has been cultivated by farmers for years. The cobs reach 9 to 10 inches and have large, deep kernels. This dent variety is a reliable option for grits and cornmeal. 
I don't even know what to say to that. <laughs> it never occurred to me to do grits or cornmeal. I love grits. I, I can't think of when I've, I mean, yeah, I don't know about doing my own cornmeal. Anyway, Savoy cabbage. I just bought seeds for this. I'd probably be giving these away. Scarlet kale. Pretty sure I had some seeds for this. Probably giving it away. White Vienna kohlrabi. I'm out of seeds for that, so I'll keep these. Um, and the last one is the Hungarian yellow wax pepper. And they're saying here it's a sweet pepper. Eh. It, I grew these the first year that I started using um, Arrow Gardens indoors. And I mean, to be honest, I never grew them again. It, they weren't bad, but the, it was pretty just bland to me. I'm going to try again, though, since I got seeds again now. I'm pretty sure I gave the, those old ones away years ago. So I'll try it again now that I have some in-ground soil to work with. All right, guys. That is what the folks over at in my gardener <laughs> put together for me i hope you guys got some good seeds if you took advantage of this sale uh and if you got some things you didn't want be sure to look into giving them to your library friends seed swaps you never know they won't go to waste there's always something you can do with a pack of seeds uh all right guys i enjoyed that i hope you did and i'll see you in the next video <laughs>